Joining me now to talk about all of this is Sinead Bovell, futurist tech entrepreneur and founder of Way. Uh, Sinead, good morning to you. Um, what should people know about this new model and why was it so disruptive to U.S. companies pursuing this? Yeah, this is certainly a wake up call for U.S. companies. So what people should know is that DeepSeek is a Chinese company that was able to launch a model that is as performant as some of the leading AI, US AI companies, but at 10% of the cost. So that is a very significant breakthrough, a massive architectural breakthrough. And it's technically a win for innovation overall because US companies are gonna look at this and be able to add what they're currently doing, add this Chinese method to what they're currently doing. Many now are calling this a Sputnik moment, but what truly is happening here is DeepSeek in this Chinese AI company they've reverse engineered what U.S. companies have already done. So it is still a breakthrough, but U.S. companies are still at the frontier. What will be the true Sputnik moment is if a Chinese AI company can build a model that does something U.S. models cannot. So right now they're equally as performant, but if China can have a breakthrough and do something that U.S. models cannot, that's an even bigger wake up call. They made it in less time with less advanced computer chips and with less money spent to develop it. Um, that's why Mark Andreessen, the billionaire venture capitalist, called it a Sputnik moment. And Sam Altman, who is the leader of OpenAI, um, which is the parent company of ChatGPT, he posted a tweet suggesting that he is legit invigorated. It's, it's legit invigorating to have a new competitor. And Microsoft CEO also posting on X uh, suggesting that having more players uh, and making AI more efficient will ultimately be good for the technology. But how are these executives really feeling about this behind the scenes? So probably mixed. I would agree that for, some, for a company like Microsoft and even NVIDIA, this is technically a good thing because the cheaper AI gets to build, the more people are going to use it. So the more efficient it becomes, the more use and the more dispersion we're going to see of artificial intelligence. If you're in the hardware business or the cloud business, so, or you make chips such as NVIDIA uh, or Microsoft, you make hardware or you make applications, this is a good thing for you. Open AI, not so sure. So on the one hand, they're, if they can add these innovations to how they build their AI systems, if they can do what they're doing, leading the frontier, but do that even cheaper, this is going to be a win for them. If they cannot, this will certainly threaten OpenAI's moat because to date they have depended on this kind of capital intensive approach to AI. Well, DeepSeek has shown that that's not the only way.